watch that interview? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared watched it, too. I actually watched it twice, <laughs> once with him and once with myself. It was a new experience for me, but I really think... I don't know if those will actually reach us. Us doing the podcast really helped me out, because I wasn't... You were able to... Nice. I was like, all right, I got this shit. Nice. Let me know if they're too loud. Hello? Hello? It doesn't... I mean, we can't hear that great, but it just helps me know if, like, you're quieter than I am and shit like that. Can I hear my... Oh, yes. Yeah. I like... Yeah? Yeah. One of these days I'll have those big fucking dumb ones that like Joe Rogan has and shit. But yeah. What? Yeah. Some episodes he has them and other episodes he doesn't. I don't get it. Well, I think it all depends on the guest. Like if the guest wants to wear them, he'll wear them. But if the guest doesn't want to wear them, he'll take them off too. I don't. I don't know. But he's the goat at podcasting. Which actually reminds me, he just recently had Tom DeLonge on from Blink One Eighty Two. Did you watch that no, one? No, I didn't. I haven't watched any since he uh, changed studios. Really? It's supposed to be great. The studio, studio, I mean, it looks pretty damn similar. Like, you know how they had a red curtain behind them? Yeah. Now it's a black one. Uh, mm. And he pretty much built it to to look like the old one. It's just bigger, and there's like a bigger TV on the wall, and there's like statues in the back. It and just there's looks a grill. Better. He made sure to let us know there's a grill. There's a, there's a, he's putting a gym in there too, and like offices, all <laughs> kinds of, I guess that place is like huge. That's just one section. They just rec- recreated the studio in one section of this big building he bought. Yeah, he gave a tour too. Balling. For sure. Yeah, I read that he makes like seventy to seventy five grand off of each podcast with all the advertising That's and fucking shit. Ridiculous. And it's ten minutes of advertising. Yeah. That's yeah, it. like ten to fifteen ten minutes. minutes at yeah. the beginning. Yeah. I actually complain. Then I skip every and you, time. And you don't even get those on the YouTube videos. Those are only on the audio podcast. Oh. Uh, I listen to the audio ones. Because all the YouTube ones are live. And then they just add like 10 to 15 minutes of fucking ads to the beginning of the audio one. So I'm like skipping through like a whole bunch of shit. But. So Rachel, she's getting in. She, she's she been into the podcast and every fucking time she's like, man, Joe's really annoying me. Like yeah. we are, we're on first name basis with him. Joe's no. really annoying me on this one. I, dude, like, I watch him so much. I feel like I know the guy. <laughs> just like uh, when you watch a TV show for so long or like a, like, like a reality show or something, like you feel like you know the fucking people after a while. But and I feel the same way about podcasts too, because it's just them talking. It's almost like you're having a conversation with them, although you and you're but, not allowed to talk. Yeah, you're just not giving any input. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up and just listen to us. But yeah, I hope someday somebody feels that way about us. That'd be sweet. But uh, I guess before we go too long, this is Jeff and Mark's Untitled Podcast. Jam up for uh, the cool people, and it's been a while since we've since we've done one. Been a busy guy. I've been a busy guy. Work. Training, all that. Oh, thanks, Walt. You're the camera guy. I can't figure it out, guys. But, uh, yeah, well, welcome to the show. You've been a busy guy. Yeah, you got a fight coming up, though. Yeah, been training my ass off for this one. November 3rd, uh, TV fight. You're going to be on TV. TV, Axis TV. How can you watch it? Um, Is it just like on it's any on, like, cable? I think it's service? on Spectrum and Direct. And I think Dish people are having an issue. But if you have Dish, you shouldn't have Dish. Gotcha. You not want him on that? We can. I, no, okay. no, it's cool. He's cool. But uh, he's just balls were rubbing on it. Is All it? Right. Is it streaming? <laughs> Get cozy. Chill out. Well, I, I just don't want to stack on there. it. It's all right. <laughs> But, sorry for the now viewers. He's off. I'll just lay down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, is it streaming anywhere online? I don't. I don't think it's streaming because they have the TV deal. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, it's on Axis TV, which is by far the biggest fight I've ever had. Yeah, I don't. I believe it. Have you ever fought on TV? Uh, I've had a couple, but they were really? Sports Time Ohio. Oh, gotcha. So, Very limited audience. Yeah, this yeah, is going all Northeast over the Ohio. You got it. Nobody else got it. Yeah, but this is going like. Nation. Yeah, yeah that's all awesome. around the nation. That's a tons of exposure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's crazy because you know I jumped from usually like when you go fight with this company, they 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 put you on the undercard, then they, you know, they try, you know, it's like a you make your way up. Yeah, you make your way up. They're like, nope, title shot, your main event. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, I I don't doubt your that that. You have the reputation for them to be like, this is the main event guy. But, I mean, maybe they're... Uh, 
they're probably doing pretty well. I don't think that they're just like needing dudes. You know what I mean? No, no, no. What it is is it's pretty much like the triple A of MMA. So gotcha. they uh, it's minor leagues. Minor leagues. Yep. Yeah. So this is pretty much grooming us to go to the next step, which there's only one step above us. That's Bellator, UFC. Preferably UFC. I mean, that's where the money's at. Yeah, UFC is kind of the WWE. Yeah, of, and the TNA is the Bellator. MMA, yeah. yeah. But, uh... <laughs> that's crazy. I was thinking more WCW, but you went straight TNA. <laughs> I, was, I was still in the, in the fucking 90s, apparently. Well, that that's not... I would like to make that comparison, but Bellator is just a couple... St- it was like yeah. TNA about five, six years ago when you're like, maybe these guys have something going, but... No, I see what you... Yeah, because he... WCW was on top for a moment, like right? Br- yeah. Brief moments. They were it was they switching back climbing, and forth. So know, yeah. yeah, I see. Uh, mine was bad, bad. No, what Bellator is trying to be that WCW, and they're fucking. They're going to get close, I think. Yeah, yeah, because they're uh, they're letting the fighters have more freedom. Well, don't they have you a couple of UFC fighters, and, or don't they like kind of? If well, they leave UFC, they kind of go there and back oh, yeah. and forth. And that's and the one guy was like, when they took away all sponsorships in UFC, like you can't put your shit on. Yeah, because of, like, Reebok and shit. A lot of people left. When they did that, they're like, I do, I'm making less money now. Like, it makes me wonder, what what would Brock Lesnar do if if and when he comes back? You know what I mean? He wore, when he did come back, he wore those Canadian did trunks. Did he? I didn't, I didn't yeah. see. So, because I... Because he's a Canadian citizen now, and he... Because he's, he like, the know. only pro wrestler that can have sponsorships. Yeah. And, and like, rep them. Yeah. On TV and shit, so... Yeah, like, that guy has so much fucking pool, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean... He put in the work. I mean, mad respect. But then they throw him a guy like Braun Strowman. It's the worst fucking match in the world. (laughs) Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Braun Strowman. They just killed that motherfucker, basically, in the last pay-per-view I watched. Was that the last one? The garbage truck one? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that would have killed someone. (laughs) He would have been dead. Like, I think the crowd even started, that was murder. (laughs) I think it was chanting that. Well, dude, they kind of just... It's almost like... uh, his Brock Lesnar feud was like his his addition, yeah, or audition, and and they're like, mm, you failed, buddy. You're never gonna be the next big show. Mm-mm. Now he's fucking. He just he doesn't have the chops really, not yet. Like no, he, he has way, time. He's still. A, the only reason he's as far as he is is because he's so fucking big. Oh, he's a scary dude. And I mean, he he's good at playing the scary dude, but he he's not really good on the mic all that much. No. And I mean, he's he's limited in the ring. Just screams at you. Yeah. Although I will say, when he went against Big Show, and that that old school like collapse of the ring and everything, I was like, okay, that's I guess that's kind of cool. But then when he stood up and started going. Rawr, and the ring's like still moving and stuff because of him and so I was like okay that's awesome I started like it made me feel like well crazy. if anybody's gonna break the ring it's those two guys <laughs> yeah for sure so it's more believable yep hell so yeah you just did a fucking interview on another podcast too we were talking about that earlier oh yeah well it wasn't so much I don't know if it's a podcast or he just does those YouTube interviews well the reason I call it a podcast is because it said it was on the oh, on the it? actual like it said a uh, parting shot podcast is what it said that dude was awesome by the way he seemed cool yeah, yeah it, was, it was like um, usually when they give those interviews you're like they just ask the most basic questions that you've answered a thousand times yeah no he did his research he and knew he did his research and he made it a conversation not so much as a okay you answer this question and then i'm gonna ask another one you answer it was like no he he had responses and he was right. engaging with you not right. just that dude was cool that dude was cool as fuck i like him no, i'd like to do cool. another one with him like uh when he asked what your pre-fight diet was i was waiting for you to say 40 mini kit kats because of the last story <laughs> he told me but uh, you're like pizza. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, 40 minute Kit Kats. I just told that story again today. <laughs> That's what That's I, was what I love for. that story. Uh, I was like, oh, I was almost throwing up 40 Kit Kats on the stool because I didn't know I was fighting that day. Yeah, that was quite a story you told me. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. And it did. I, it was a good interview. Short, but sweet. Right. Mm. Got to the point. Plus, you're, it has like. 400 views i think now so oh yeah when I, last time i looked it was like 170 yeah. something. Yeah. i think it's like three, 350 or something like that which is cool because everybody else had like 25 yeah you said so, your, your, your opponent <laughs> yeah 
That was a funny text exchange as well. Oh yeah, I love having late night text exchanges, uh, especially with you, because it's like you know, you know, I know you're up. So well, it's always the best because like you just happen to be watching the same thing I am, like a, <laughs> a wrestling pay per view or something, and we're just going back and forth about what we're watching at the time. Right. So it's kind of like we're having a mini podcast with ourselves. Yeah, pretty much. like we're live streaming or something without the live stream. Yep, via Skype. Via Skype. So yeah. no, it was a it was a good interview for sure. So, since we've been doing this, what has been up? Uh, my life kind of fell apart a little bit. Uh, me and my girlfriend broke up. She still lives with me, uh, but she's she's moving. I mean, we're still going to be friends and everything. It's kind of but just for different people sort of thing now. I mean, it was a lot harder for me at first, but as time goes on, it gets a little yeah, bit right, easier. That's how easier. it... Well, usually, if it doesn't end bad, it doesn't end at all, but... Yeah. But it's yeah. good that you guys can be cool about it. Well, I mean, I wasn't that cool about it at first, but, like, stuff, you know, time goes on and gets different. It's It wasn't something I wanted, obviously. Right. Was, she changed more than I did, but, I mean, it's shit happens. Yep. It's It sucks, but you got to deal with it. Yeah, it's yeah. part of life. But you'll, you'll figure it out. You always do. As my buddy Kimo used to say, there's plenty of hoes in the sea. <laughs> so... Fair enough. Any ladies out there? I'm I'm single, ready to mingle. Ooh. Maybe not ready to just jump into a relationship, but I'm down to hang Dude, out. Dude, th- those like as an adult, relationships are fucking work. No, I believe it. They are fucking work. Like my buddy Lee's actually telling me he uh, he'll uh, teach me the the Tinder game. Get me on Tinder. Why not do that? You know, I used to think that was like for dorks. But it's not. No, it's I mean, all, it's like the easiest way to meet people. I'm, I'm. Sure it's a very easy way to meet people. If people want to meet you, you know what I mean. But uh, the fuck does that say? What the fuck? Again, uh, we run out of battery. Oh, you're plugged in. Yeah, I'm plugged in. That's why I'm confused. It says we have. Fuck yeah. We're going two and a half hours. <laughs> Fuck work. Fuck work. I do have to work tomorrow, though. I do not. I and? Took, I took all week off. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got Of course. You got a big fight going. Well, I wasn't going to because I was like... And then I was like, wait a minute. I'm making money this fight. I'm fucking not working. Fuck <laughs> that. I'm not standing in the cold and shit. I believe that. But we're back. We had a little technical difficulty there. Um... If you really must know, the camera ran out of space on the hard drive. So, if you must know, but uh, yeah, we're here. We're not queer. Get used to it. But yeah, if but if you are, it's okay. It's 2017. No, no, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Please don't fucking send us angry emails and texts and comments and shit. <laughs> or I'll fuck you up. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I got protection, motherfuckers. Don't fuck. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple things I I wanted to bring up. Go for it. You know, with the. The spirit of Halloween, which okay. is my favorite holiday, by the way. Is that or 4th of July because uh, I like nice weather. I don't know if I have a favorite holiday. Probably Thanksgiving because you get to eat real good. <sighs> this Thanksgiving, I'm going fucking nuts. Christmas, just because everybody's in like good spirit. Everybody's well, in good moods. People. But the thing I don't like about Christmas is it's gimme, 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 or... You know, or I'm mad, or who do I have to give a present to? Who doesn't make the cut? The thing I don't like about Christmas is the weather. It's fuck yeah. Every, oh, I love when it snows on Christmas. Well, fuck you. Half the time it doesn't snow on Christmas. No, it's, it's just, just cold. cold. <laughs> yeah, and then when it does, it's just colder and more chances of being wet. And then yeah, and then now you know if you, as an adult, you got to go to your parents, you got to go to your grandparents, or you know whatever. You got to you got to fucking drive and. Driving in the snow blows. Yep. Well, I mean, I don't have that issue, but I've, I've been. But you've rode in, in a car, yeah, and it fucking sucks. I'm sure it sucks. Where, I have no doubt. Where's my notes? I really yeah, I, I have absolutely nothing for this episode. That's I'm good. Pretty. Yeah. Well, yeah, we haven't seen I'm just each other in a while, so we can fucking just wing it. But yeah, yeah. With the spirit of Halloween, what are some of your favorite slasher villains? Ooh. See, I'm not a big horror guy. Mm. I am. So this one's going to be a hard one for me, but... uh, Okay, let's not go with slasher villains. Let's just go with... Horror villains. Horror villains. Uh, fucking shit that scares you so, in movies. Yeah. Hmm. Well, 
I when it comes to horror movies, and one of my top favorite movies of all time is the original Shining with uh, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, it's a it's a good movie. That's so a very good movie. When it comes to I get and I guess he would kind of be considered a slasher even though he didn't slash a single person right. but he, i mean he was chopping down doors with mm-hmm. yeah, axes know. and shit and that qualifies that's one of the qualifications so i, I guess uh jack whatever his last it name was jack movie. yeah i do remember but i know it's that. jack because all work and no play makes jack a doll boy <laughs> but uh <laughs> which reminds me though i've people there's a version of that movie where they put where they play the movie front to back and then they put on top of it the movie back to forward and some of the way the scenes line up some of the craziest images you've ever seen like oh really at one point where well not you've ever seen but it's crazy how they line up like at one point when he's in the bathroom talking to that butler guy or whatever the, the bathroom attendant there's like another scene in which there's like a bunch of red on the wall. There's just a bunch of red, but the way it goes over its face, it makes him look like like a clown, like an evil clown type guy. I got. It it's has pretty to be cool. On YouTube or you something. can, you can. Okay. I, I'm gonna uh, have to check that out. Also in that movie, Room Two Thirty Seven, that's all about that about The Shining, and it just picks it apart and all the weird things uh, Stanley Kubrick did in it, and why people have certain theories about it. And now is that still a, uh, an thing. operational? hotel that they use i don't know because they they shot it in a hotel probably yeah. yeah i mean it was a real ho- hotel and it wasn't even the act because i think the hotel that is in the book was either based on or is an actual real hotel okay but the hotel in the movie wasn't that hotel okay they changed it up yeah a stanley bit. cooper changed a lot of shit about it that's why there's so many theories about it um now i'm intrigued <laughs> um so yeah i guess jack from Shining would probably be one of one of my top favorites, if not my favorite. But uh, I don't know. I, I I don't I don't watch that many, so it's hard for me to even. So think you don't like me. to pay to get scared and shit. That's not really. Like I don't go to haunted houses yeah, and shit. I know a lot of people don't. like that. I don't blame them. It's like well, it's just not real, and I know it. Okay. Although I did hear a story that there there was a guy that killed like 18 people in a haunted house or whatever, and people were just walking by it thinking it was fake. Like this year? Yeah. yeah and they just caught that. him. And then um, the only way they knew is that one of the people he was killing was was still alive, and he was like yelling at the people going through the haunted house like, get out of here, help me. Like, he saved right. their lives, you know what I mean? He died, but he saved everybody else's lives that he finally... Fuck. Yeah, it was Dude. crazy. Unless that's some fake news or something. It seemed I legit. Yeah, who knows? They got the, the guy the and everything. It's crazy fucking world we live in now. But. but yeah, they were walking around and there were real dead bodies and like parts around. <laughs> Somebody walking through. Dude, this is really good. Now, they didn't they didn't specify whether or not the guy um, like worked at the haunted house or it was his haunted house or something. Or if he was just a guy that went in there in costume as a clown or whatever he was. That's so like, And just started uh, killing people. And people just couldn't tell the difference. Well, that's so, um, that's like one of the, the things that goes through your head too is like, somebody could easily just dress up. Relax, buddy. Somebody could just dress up and, and do that shit. And it happened. Yeah. <laughs> No, Fuck that. just like uh, when Uber and Lyft and all that shit started happening, I was just like, there's going to be an Uber killer. Oh, there's going to be sure. a guy that picks people up and either an Uber driver that kills people or, or somebody a, that kills Uber somebody kill. Yeah, exactly. And I think that actually happened. I mean, I didn't read much up on it, but I think I heard something about it. But yeah, so I guess I don't know. I don't know. Um, I love that movie Summer of Sam. John Leguizamo, you never saw it? Nope. Based on the actual guy... Uh, the son of Sam killer or whatever. So I guess David Berkowitz would probably be. So you be like him. more realistic. Uh, that, well, when it comes to like horror movies, the ones I like either have something unique about them, set them apart or, or it's like a true story. Okay. That's the stuff I'm usually into when it comes to horror. Yeah. Cause I'm not huge into like the Friday the 13th. Once in a while, I like to turn my brain off and watch that shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I love like evil dead and the army of darkness movies yeah. and shit like that. Too. Zombieland Classics, was good. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> like night of the living dead. Zombieland was great. Yeah. Zombieland was funny. Like movies that have something that sets themselves apart than all the other. Right. Like, I don't want to see the same fucking like Hack and guy smash. trying to kill somebody all the time. Like, right. yeah, that's realistic, but I don't like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't right. want to see scream 17. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> 
I'll watch Jamie Kennedy die, and then I don't need to see the second one. Right. But that um, there was some bad. I was watching something that they said the '90s were just the beginning of the '90s. Walter, I'm gonna karate <laughs> chop you, bro. Doesn't really pick him up that well, anyway. So. Okay. Um, they're saying how like the early '90s were like struggling for horror movies, and then Scream actually like really? resurrected it. And I and I go back and watch Scream, and I'm like, this fucking movie sucks. Actually, I I, be- I believe that because I can. There weren't a lot of real big horror movies that I can remember from nope. the '90s. The but one I- that they they say is not a horror movie that I think is probably my favorite is uh, Silence of the Lambs. That was like '94. 90 yeah. something like that I've never maybe actually 90 seen those I don't know it's you never oh that's right you never watched it yeah that's one of those movies I was like really oh, man it's such a good movie but, but yeah well that kind of derailed me well what are yours um some of my favorite horror movies would be like um definitely be Silence of the Lambs the uh I'm trying to think now um let's see oh Going back to the slasher movies would be uh, Freddy versus Freddy versus Jason was good. No, I don't catch him. It was uh, it was pretty cool. I watched it in theater when I was younger, so I was like, "Wow, this is awesome!" Wow. But uh, oh yeah, that was a ni- that was a nineties movie though. I guess that's a. It 90s. was early two thousand. Was it was early? It? So it was like two thousand two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the year we got into high school. Two thousand two, right. I think right. so. I was still in Louisville when my buddy took me, but um, yeah, dude. I yeah. if it's on, I'll watch them. But uh, yeah, so I just thought with Halloween coming up, I love Halloween. I really do. I love haunted houses and yeah, yeah. I liked it a lot when I was younger. Kid and I loved it when I was younger. I like dressing up and stuff. I just usually oh. don't have a reason to. Like, yeah, I don't go to parties all that much. They do trick or treat in this neighborhood still. Yeah, they actually like my niece came and hang out with me for a little bit yesterday. Um. While they did it, even though, like, which didn't make fucking sense to me because she dressed up, I'll look like a dead person or whatever, and then didn't even walk around, just came here and hung out with me. Well, it was cold as fuck yesterday. It so. was. But yeah, they did it. They just, It just wasn't very long. I don't imagine many people were doing it anyway. Right. But I think it's like dying, pretty much, around here anyway. Well, I, the neighborhood we went to, I don't know if it's because of the rain or whatever, but that was the, the, the neighborhood I used to go to when I was a kid, and it was hundreds of kids. This year it was like, Barely, but my neighborhood that I live in now was fucking crazy. People were giving out full size candy bars and shit. And I was like, man, wow. my daughter's locked out. Yeah, the rich, the rich neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't so. It's not. Well, I mean, they have money. Like I, I can remember my cousin Kim a couple of times because I used to go trick or treat in Maslin with like my cousins and stuff because that's where they lived and we would walk around like the normal neighborhoods and stuff. And then eventually she'd drive by and be like, get in, and then she'd take us to like the rich neighborhood. <laughs> Man, it was good time. Oh, there's those poor kids again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I've never. Walter, you're killing me, Smalls. He's got a lot to say. Halloween is his favorite is fucking well. holiday too. It's because he looks so scary all the time. Like, Finally, I look normal. He just hears stuff out there. <laughs> Man, yeah. Yeah. That's... I think the last time I dressed up for Halloween, I was um. A monkey, like I have, I I just wore like you know you can buy those pajamas. Yeah, and it was just like a full on pajama. Didn't have the feet, but uh, and I just wear shoes. Like I even talked about like putting a shirt on and pants over top just to make me look like a dressed monkey or oh, something. Oh, like, like a, a human monkey. Yeah, but no, I just wear that just because that's the easy way out. And most of the time it's cold, so that's like a warm way right. to walk around. Uh, it was seventy five degrees last week, and then this week it's thirty. So it's fucking it's Ohio. Fucking Ohio. Which reminds me, I love the Ohio reference in that interview you did. Where you're just <laughs> like it could be snowing tonight, probably. But, it might be. Yeah. Which I don't think he quite under got the joke, right. but I certainly did. <laughs> um, but. yeah. And I had like a, a costume idea I've been trying to put together. I just haven't got all the pieces yet. But I have a Deadpool baseball jersey. And then it has the number 90 on the back of the name Tacos. <laughs> but I have a Deadpool mask too. I want to get like two black baseball bats, put them on my back, get red baseball pants, maybe like some black boots or something, and be baseball Deadpool. That'd be sweet. But it's it requires boots are, aren't cheap no whatsoever. that's the only thing you got you're gonna run into but the and baseball bats you can't get a cheap baseball no bat you either. gotta get them a garage sale yeah and just like spray paint them black or something right. i thought my that'd last, be cool my last 
time I dressed up was Peter Pan. That was uh, that was fucking. Funny. That's appropriate. I had green tights. Actually, I remember the pictures. Yeah, yeah. green tights, green. Uh, I did, I went all out and I did it all in a day. I was like, "Fuck, man, well, I, I gotta dress up." If we're gonna do it, you might as well you might as well go all out. Right. Like, what's the point if right. you're not? But my problem is is finding a reason to. Right. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't go out and drink anymore. So I have, I have a few friends too. It's not like I get invited to lots of parties and shit. And again, I don't. I don't. I don't really party anymore. Right. Like I'll drink occasionally. I know. You know. I mean, I smoke like a chimney. But... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. Come here. Up here. But yeah, it's it's an issue for me having a reason to do these things. I, this might have been a worse idea. But uh, I apologize, people, for this episode. Things will get worked out within the next month or so, though. Things are going to change around here, too. So, that, that, Not to go back to the girlfriend breakup thing, but yeah. But they're changing. Yes, things are changing. Actually, this room's going to change a lot, too. What, what are you doing with it? Well, it's like she's going to take that table um, when she gets to the apartment. And uh, a lot of shit's going to be out of that living room, which means I'll be able to finish it. And uh, I might even start doing stuff out there once I figure out a way to keep all these sweet. quiet and get... Because a big issue I had before was dog-proofing the place. That, them being able to get to things and like right. whatnot or pee on things. So I just fucking... What the fuck is going on? It might just have to be an audio podcast. Why is the video fucking Because up? the video just keeps going. Like, it just stopped recording for no reason. It's just, like, I don't know what the deal is. Everything's working again. Like, everything was working fine when I was setting it up and getting it all ready. But you guys are getting getting to see the behind-the-scenes shit that's go around. You're going to see all the technical difficulties Yeah, everybody involved. acts like this is easy to do. Yeah. Uh, it's easy for me, not for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm the I'm the one working all day to get things figured out before things happen. But I'm slowly like getting a method down to where things don't take as long, and it's just a system going on. Right. But, well, which, practice. I guess to get back to my other point, that's that's what I'm going to be doing once I I get everything else figured out is to figure out a way to make things more streamlined and just easier just to have things done like another thing i want to do is invest in some cameras that i can just stream straight to the computer and we can just record everything as if it was live and just be done with it. but when we're done with it, it's just done it's, it's already done. done no editing like get my niece over here to change cameras and stuff so it'll go to different shots and sweet. do the music <laughs> at the beginning and have the intro and shit and like, she knows how to do all that huh? well that's i'm teaching her too okay. like um i'll have to train her for a little bit but which uh, one uh, the youngest of uh, my sister, Carrie, Christy Ann. Chris, okay. Um, I remember her. The only one that's still in school, well, other than her, her, actually, it's not her youngest. Now she has an even younger one, but she's in high school now, and she's the only one, like, left to graduate other than the real young one. But, uh, yeah, she needs some positive influences in her life, too. Some of them, she's getting into some unsavory things. Well, not really, but, like, she's... Like us in high school, like or... me in high school, oh, like oh, no. a little bit, not not as extreme, okay. but I mean okay. she's she's starting to walk in my shoes a little bit. She's in that crowd, you know what I mean? You got to get her out of that crowd, exactly. So, um, I mean, I I wouldn't change the way I did things really, other than maybe I would have tried a little bit harder in school. But uh, other than that, I've learned a lot of shit, like from mistakes and just doing things. You know what I mean? Like it's hard to. Hard to say I'd change anything when I have so much perspective now about right. it. Right. Well, I mean, if you could go back, that would be my one thing, too, is actually take high school a little bit more serious. But I think even the kids that did take it serious would probably say the same thing. Yeah. I would take it more serious and, and get a better GPA. And, like, I, I could have went and played college football, and but I was too into fucking off. Well, all, all that, too. Like, I, I probably could have done better in school and, like... um I probably could have, it probably would have trained me a little bit better to, to be in that like college world a little more. Like maybe I would have excelled in college a little bit more right. than I did when I attempted to. But at the same time, I just think like, man, I put like Mr. D 
And um, why can't I remember the fucking? He was the assistant principal. Then he was the principal. Larsoul. Larsoul. Yeah, I can't for me. I mean, I talked to him. I knew him really well. But you know <laughs> what I mean. So I can't forget. How, but like, I put all those motherfuckers through hell. I put them through hell. I just feel bad about that now, especially Mr. D. Right. When all that dude did was try to fucking help me. I still see Mr. D all the time, and you know what though he that I he feels like that was what he was put on this earth for. Oh yeah, <laughs> to without help him, up like I'd kids be, like us. Yeah, no, no, without him, I'd be a high school dropout. Right, I would. Oh, me for too. Sure. I wouldn't have graduated. Me either. Yeah. I like w- there was. Yeah, I, I would have been fucked without him, and right. like. I shit on him a lot and screwed him over a lot. And I felt bad. But in the end, he succeeded. Right. I graduated. You graduated. I, you know, the day I graduated when Mr. Fucking whatever that dick Ira, when oh, Ira God. called me Fuck in and gave me my guy. diploma finally, because I graduated the class of 2007. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I didn't like I was your class of 06, but I Did dropped you go back out to school. I dropped out. Yeah. At the end of 06 and then went back for 07. I basically was. Graduated with, like, Joe Wittensolder and shit. Like, all with that class. I didn't know. You walked, too? I could No, I didn't. Oh. I chose not to, but I could have walked with that class. I just thought that would be oh. awkward and weird. I but didn't no. know that. But when I got my diploma, Ira fucking called me into his office. And Mr. D was waiting there with him. And he gave it to me. Gave me the whole sp- spiel. Like, by the state of Ohio, but like, you've graduated and gave me the thing. I gave Mr. D the biggest fuck. Like, it's not like I took it from him, either. <laughs> like, he was just... Big smile on his face. His arms were open before mine even were. And I just gave him this to be the biggest fucking hug in the world, dude. Because without that motherfucker, I would... How... Did you graduate the whole... Did you go the whole year? Or did no, you do online class? No, I did the uh, Novanet stuff. Um, I took a fucking gym class on Novanet. How do you do that? I'm not sure. I did it. <laughs> Basically, all I had to re- do was read about what you need to do. But I didn't really, I didn't have any requirement to do it. Like, what the fuck did I need to take gym class for anyway, if that's the case? Did you do it at home? No, I, I actually went in, like, every day at, like, like 7. I think later they let me go in at, like, noon or something, so I didn't have to go up. But I just went to a computer class with, like, a bunch of other kids that weren't good kids. Like, uh, Michelle Fouch was in there with me, sitting, like, right next to me. Like, and you ne- you didn't see her at all through no, high school. No, no. I saw but her she one went time to walk Kansas. out. That, I w- she walked out of the doors one time. I was like... Yeah. What was she doing here? Yeah, and like she, she didn't even like she spoke like two words to me, but she knew who I was. Right, and I knew who she was. She was just so quiet and awkward about right. it. Like, I don't know, but yeah, she was there. I didn't know all that. That's all new news to me. Yeah, yeah, like, but that Mister D, I wouldn't have done oh, any no, of that. Oh that stuff. dude was the best. He still is. Still is the best. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm friends with him on Facebook though. <sighs> I gotta get you in there and get a haircut. Do I? Do I need one? I just yeah, cut he'll, it. He'll fucking. He'll make it look good. So no, I'm, I'm your, sure your he will. will look perfect. I thought about going in there a couple of times. Uh, like now I just, I shaved my head because I didn't want to go pay for a haircut. But usually I go to like fucking Great Clips or Best Cuts or something. And they usually butcher my hair. And yeah, then I come home and try to fix it and it looks a little bit better. It's like a fucking assembly line there. They're like, we got to get in, people in and out. Mr. D will have five guys in there. And I've waited like an hour just because he will not send somebody out without giving him the best haircut he can which is good which is good should be. because that yeah they they do it they get it done they they tell me to get the fuck out like usually when they're cutting my hair i'm looking at it i was like this really isn't how i'm gonna want it and then they just try to make it look as best as possible at the end like it's close to what i told them yep. usually i'll walk there and be like oh, look for something along this line show them my phone and i look a, a haircut on and i i've learned that you gotta go real simple with them like, you got to be a real basic haircut, and then you go from there. Right. You know what I mean? A lot of those girls only have been working for less than a year. Yeah. And, you know, you do anything less than a year like that, you're not going to be very good at it. And they 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 have special haircuts they do. Most of them they do on women. Right. But, uh, like, I'll go in there and be like, I just want, like, your normal, like, side Fade. part. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'll go home and I'll do whatever the fuck I want with it, you know? Because usually if they style my hair, it doesn't look anything fucking like I would. Yeah, but... I mean, you were one of the kids that had beautiful woman hair anyways in high school. Yeah. Which, uh, I can't, I, I could totally grow my hair back out again, too. It's just. Look at me. I cannot. Uh, you you could grow your hair out. It's just you know? the top wouldn't grow. But, yeah. I mean, you're you're doing better than a lot more people I know. <laughs> but, 
I mean, I, I was worried too that when I cut my hair that I'd start seeing some spots that are thinning out, but I'm I'm, I'm pretty good. good. I think I'm good I to go. I went to a uh, uh, fundraiser. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> I went to a fundraiser, and there was like four or five guys that I wrestled with, and none of them had hair. Yeah. I had the most hair on my head. I looked around, I'm like, was it something in the water? <laughs> like the, the, the shower water or something? Because we none of us had hair. Man, is it like the rolling on the ground or something? Maybe it no pulls idea. out at the roots or something? Would, I, I don't know. Because like, I know when people wear hats, they, people that wear hats yeah. like a lot. And I've had a football helmet on my whole life and a hat. and it's just I think it's just the tug of the movement and genetics, stuff. Genetics. But like... Man, like Nick Bobkowski, Jeff Hewitt, Kurt Worley, none of us had hair. And I'm like, that's crazy. Damn, I didn't, I didn't do any young. of those things. <laughs> like, I, I quit playing school sports in, like, fifth grade. You know what I mean? Like Baseball, right? Yeah. yeah I remember going and that was the only year I ever game. played a school sport, too. Yeah. So, And I joined band, and I quit before the end. And, oh, fuck that. But my parents always made me, like, stay at least until the end. And I was just like, why? Because <laughs> I hated it. You knew I hated it. Why are you making me finish this? You were you were drums in band, though, weren't you? Percussion, yeah. Percussion. But uh, that was another thing that, like, after a while, I was just like, it's not fun anymore. Like, you guys make this not fun. Right. Like, it's, it's now it's a structured. job, kind of. Yeah, too structured. But the, uh... Especially sports. The coaches made everything, like, right. such a fucking... It's like they pay us to do it or something. Right. And well, they didn't. The high, my high school football coaches, I had two that I liked. And they were they were hard on me, but it was like the good. Like they were, they were doing it because they cared. Yeah. And the other coaches, they didn't give two fucks. The one guy didn't even play football, a down of football ever in his life. Yeah. He was on the tennis team. Wow. And I go, what are you coaching for? You don't know the fucking game. You've never been there. He just watches the Browns on Sundays or something. <laughs> That's probably why we were 5-5 five and five every year. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. Yeah. See the Browns, they they don't they, don't, they throw it to the wrong team all the time. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm not a sports guy, but like I always had fun playing it. Just right. like the only reason, real sport I enjoyed watching was was like hockey, and that was another one I enjoyed playing too, just because it was so fucking like vicious. Yeah, they would slam it, and they, and they could fight. They did you ever did you ever go to a uh, hockey game? No. No. I've been to a soccer game, which is basically the same game, just no ice in the U.S. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> I went to the Monsters game, the playoff game, two years ago. Or maybe a year. I don't know what it was. I think it was two seasons ago. Within the first 20 seconds, I looked over at Rachel and I was like, I missed my calling. Ah. Some dude got jacked sideways, horizontal, in the air, flying through the air, hit the board, hit the ground, and was oh. laying there. And I was like... I missed my calling. Dude, have you ever seen uh, Goon? That's a good movie, actually. Do you see the second one? No. The second one's just as good. I really? mean, well, it's not as good as the first one, but I liked it just as much. Because uh, when I turned it on, I was like, Sean Williams, Scott, I don't know. No, dude, I love that movie. And it was Goon. good. Goon was like, is great. This is really good. And I was super excited when I saw that uh, I saw they made the a second, second one? one. And the second one was like, like uh, yeah, they were all the same people were back, even Lee Schreiber. And, they, and then they is, added which one's uh, Leaf Schreiber is that the the main goon? He was he was the villain goon in the first yeah. one, and the second one they're homies. But uh, and well, kinda. I mean, like he he has retired at this point. Now all he does is fight on the ice. Like there's a oh, league he's... where people fight on the ice oh, now. That's awesome. And uh, <laughs> and then he kind of it's kind of like a Rocky thing. Like he gets his old enemy to come in and help him, kind of like with Apollo Creed and shit. And but um. And then the guy from that one episode of Black Mirror, I don't know if you've ever watched no, Black Mirror. No, I wanted to. I wanted to get into he's it. He's got like longer hair and a beard. He looks like he's probably like more like a Viking type dude, but he's like real thin and kind of, he was in the video game uh, episode of Black Mirror in like the third season or whatever, but uh, for anybody that watches it, but he was in it and he was like the villain guy in this one. He was just like a stuck up, really good player that they brought to the team and shit, but I forgot what I was asking. Oh, because you could totally be a fucking like enforcer. Yeah. On there, that, like, are you good on skates? I could get. I could learn. Like, I'm you, athletic. I could. Do we, it. we 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 went to the ice skating rink a couple times back in school. I, I never went. I was always in trouble. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> see, that was before I started getting in a lot of right. trouble. But you know, his six demerits. Oh shit! Per oh yeah, back nine weeks. Demerits. Yeah. So I rem- I I can't remember her name. Miss Miller, maybe. It was when, because there was two man and four man, remember? 
Remember those? Four teachers, two teachers. In what grade? Six. Sixth grade? Yes. Yes. Uh, I couldn't remember. I know I was on the four. Yeah. I was ne- never in the four every really? year. No. Nope. I wonder I wonder how they determined that. I think, like, what did that mean? I think like the two, two-man two team was like, uh, you know, there was like good kids in there, but a lot of kids that shouldn't be switching classes and getting screwed up was okay, so, two-man. Really? So... <laughs> Long story short, I remember the very first day I fucked up so bad on the first very first day of the nine weeks to go ice skating and had five demerits. Wow. <laughs> no, I, I, this is all starting to come back to me because they would go and they'd do these activities and then anybody who couldn't go stayed there and did academic assist. Yep, academic assist. Which was basically like... <coughs> a study hall. Yeah, pretty much like detention for us right. back then. But, but no matter what, we still had like academic assist once a week right didn't we yep something like that it was was a study hall but when it was it was detention when you guys went yeah so it it was a punishment sometimes and sometimes it was just yeah you just happen to have to be here which really confused me just because like it's kind of like like training your dog (laughs) in a way just like if it's like having him do something bad and then giving him a different reaction every time right. or giving him two separate reactions. So then he doesn't know what That's the fuck point. is that kind of, it's, it's kind of like, no, I understand where you're coming but like, from. It's just it. weird. Like, what is it teaching kids? Like, uh, like you didn't do anything wrong, but you're going to have this thing. That's usually a punishment, but you're not really punished. Like that's just confusing. Right. To a kid. I remember, uh, too, Josh, Josh was a really good kid in, middle school like really good got almost straight a's yeah i was often in academic assist the academic assist group with josh which is always a bad choice for <laughs> he would take pisses and trash cans when teachers weren't looking he was actually a bad kid but he got really good grades oh, you talk about your cousin josh yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah. i remember josh neff taking a shit in the trash yeah can. he josh neff did that josh griffiths took a piss in a couple trash cans wow and uh I remember we were doing something. It was the very day, the last day before we went and did like the fun activity. Yeah. And Josh, Josh looked at me and was like, I don't fucking want to go. He's <laughs> like, I want to get three to the marriage today or something. It was something like that. Damn. And he went to academic assist with me and we just fucking. That's awesome. Back and forth at each other. That's like, I never <laughs> thought of that. Like if, if I didn't want to do whatever they were doing that month for whatever the activity was. I basically had a free day. I could just fuck around all day. Yep. I could just do bad shit. Like, yep. But it was so hard to get a demerit in Mr. Fraze's class, I remember, because he was just so him. cool. I heard he was awesome. It was The great thing about Mr. Fraze is he would have all this stuff written on the board, like words and definitions, and pretty much he just wanted you to copy it down. But if you... And usually he would have like a lesson he wanted to teach afterwards. But as long as we were all copying it down and we just started a conversation with him in the middle of it, he would just talk to us the whole class. And we'd write all this stuff down and we'd still pass the class because all the stuff he's about to teach us are right here that we just wrote down. So pretty much we just have to study that now. I I heard so many stories of just he's about to start his lecture and somebody asked him a question and he would just go on a rant for 30 minutes 45 the whole class <laughs> and then he'd be like well i was gonna listen today but i guess we'll get into it tomorrow and then we just do the same fucking thing again tomorrow or like it wasn't an everyday thing because usually that was the rundown of what he's gonna do this week but mr phrase was just awesome anyway like he was just awesome i still have his hall pass that i accidentally took home on because well, no, I used to always put it in my back pocket. That's when we all wore like big fucking Jinko oh, jeans, yeah. with big pockets. The pockets so, came down to your kneecap, and it would just like, yeah, it, that hall pass would just be behind my leg basically, and I would forget it's even there. So somewhere I still have his fucking hall pass with his name on it and everything. Miss, uh, what was her name? Miss Steyer. Remember her? She was good looking, right? Yeah, very good looking, yeah. but. She was such a bitch. Was she? Yeah. Is that s- seventh grade? Yeah. Seventh grade science. Yeah, she was super good looking. Yeah. Like smoking hot. Yeah, really hot. And uh I remember she said something like it was something like uh go don't don't forget your book, Jeff. Because she was hard on me, but whatever. And I was I like, Oh was. <laughs> yeah. She's like, uh, don't forget your book. And I was like, I won't. And I said it kind of snappy. <clears throat> and right as I said that the the principal Mr. Welker came walking around the corner. I was like, "Are you back talking her?" I'm like, "No." And he's like, "Come with me." I went down to his office and just fucked off all day. Really? Yeah, didn't do anything. 
He didn't wow. give me any discipline, nothing. I just fucked off in his office. I'm like, sweet. Really? Like with him there? You guys just hung out? Yeah, just hung out. He <laughs> talked to me. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. I would have been yeah. like... He's like, oh, well, uh, do, you, do you want lunch? I'm like, yeah, I want lunch. He's like, well, I'll go down and get you something. Do you want extra whatever right. we're having that day? I was like, yeah, yeah, no. Of course I do. That makes it all better. Because at first I was like, what an asshole. All you said was, I won't. Like kind of... Yeah. I was just getting snappy with her, but it wasn't like intentional, like too... You were technically you were technically reassuring her that you're yeah. not going to forget your yeah. book, but like you did it with a little bit of an attitude. Yeah. Like you really, you technically didn't do anything wrong. Right. You were just a little irritated that she kept insinuating. <laughs> if that it you were was a conversation it. with me and you right now, and I said that that same exact way, you'd be like, whatever. Yeah, fucking Mister Welker wouldn't walk in and be like, come with me. <laughs> yeah, but no, I went down to his office all day, fucked off. It was great. Cool. That's kind of like what uh. In school suspension used to be before uh, Schlachter took over. Well, Schlachter was, he was a little bit more strict. He was. And he, I think I, I, I shit on him one time too, which is another one of those things I feel bad about because he would let you, um, like let's say you had ISS for like two days or something. The, the first day he would let you go to like your last class or whatever. And if you came, or like your second to last class or whatever. And if you came back after that, uh, he would pretty much you just have to be there in the morning the next day and then he just let you go about your day normally but i would always leave and i would school yeah i would just oh. leave and not come back so he Thomas never did that right to, there. dude it was, i was such an <laughs> asshole i didn't give a fuck and it was because of drugs and alcohol that's why i just didn't, all i wanted to do was get fucked up all the time right well that's normal but no it's, it's not normal at all <laughs> it, i guess it was it's normal. In high school yeah it's normal for a certain crowd but uh and I don't, I don't blame all the people I hung out with. I mean, I did all these things. I could have been a little more. When he, uh, when stronger. he broke up that, when I was beating the piss out of Nelson Poland, he drug me in the classroom. I don't think anybody saw it. We should be all right. And he literally, I mean, Nelson was fucked up. Wait, wait. So you guys are like having a conversation after you just beat his ass? I no, no, no. I the Schlockter pulled me into a, oh. one of his rooms because it happened right in front of his room. Gotcha. And he's like, I don't think any other teacher saw it. I think you should be all right. And I was like, cool. And as soon as he said that, one of the Miss uh, the Redheads, Swihart or something. Oh yeah. Is that her name? Yeah. She walked in. She's like, I saw the whole thing. Like, wow. Uh, I'm taking a three day vacation. Somebody told me that she. Married Mr. Eibel. Ginger babies. I could be wrong, but that, I think that's what my niece told me the other day. Mr. Eibel was the guy. I fucking hated that guy. That's the one I'm talking about that played fucking tennis and golf. Oh, it was it? We'll try to be a football coach. I used to fucking bust his balls all the time. I fucking hated that guy. He was such a dick to me, and he had no reason no, to. he was a cock. Oh, his mom was a bitch, too. His mom was way better than him, though. His <laughs> mom was cool to me. Mom. Oh, I, she was so mean to me. But Maybe I was an asshole. He was a dick, and for a while there, I thought he had a thing for the, for the fucking eight. Eight, eighth grade girls because he, he was teaching did. eighth grade he probably I thought did. He, he there was a thing because I was dating Alex at the time uh, Vanderwall yeah and uh, he was so chummy with her so fucking chummy and she yeah, you, she used to get pissed girl. when I brought it up but but she's probably he's probably a pervert I'm not, I don't think they did anything but I think he had a thing for her probably I really think he did and I think that's why he didn't like me because I was dating her because he she treated me like I was some fucking asshole and what, what I wasn't even was a bad that? kid back then. I think that was eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah, I didn't have him, so. Because I had him and Mrs. Sheffield. Because, oh, actually, in that year, I was the two, two fucking man. classes. Yeah. Sheffield. But the year, but like sixth grade, I had the four. Wow. And then seventh grade, I had the two. So they must have been like, wow, this kid's a, this kid has some <laughs> learning problems or something. Or so I don't know. Yeah, dude, I was it was like the kids that got year. worse grades or something. Yeah. Like they just figured, oh, it's a little too much for them to have all these. You know what? I think I was in the four man when, <coughs> on, in, when I had eighth grade. Yeah, it was eighth grade. I had the four man. Okay. But there was a lot more men teachers in the four man back then. So they probably were like, we got to put them with a bunch of male teachers that might intimidate them rather than these girls that. He walks right all over. That could be it. I mean, it's probably different for each individual person. But right. I was thinking more that like maybe those two teachers are just better all around teachers. Like when it comes to teaching multiple subjects, that might be they're it. better at that. And these kids obviously need a little more focus on them or something because and, and having the same two teachers teaching them the same four subjects, it would be very similar methods of teaching, right. you know. 
We might be fucking way too into this. So. We, it might be. They might just it's be like, like, fuck, the, dude, we don't have enough it's, room. It's, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's probably like the fuck. It, it's not like a draft or anything. It's just yeah. like, okay, these kids go here. These kids go here. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want him. I remember <laughs> him. Back him. Oh, get him over here. Yeah, no, that's what it is. That's definitely what it is, I think. Shit. So, well, that was fun. Memory lane. Yeah, we really... We really did go down that Maryland shit. Uh, yeah, was there something else? You said you had a couple things, and I think the only thing we went over was the horror movies. Yeah. Horror movie thing. Yeah, I don't know, that's about it. I uh, yeah, just glad I got in here. I haven't been doing this way a lot, but we're starting to slow down. So I definitely enjoy doing these. Oh yeah, I always have a good time. Um, how's the other guns going? I saw the two potheads. Yeah, the bunch of potheads podcast. Yeah. yeah. Took us a while to come up with that name, dude. Because <laughs> you're potheads. Well, Could well <laughs> it's not just potheads. Like, <laughs> just kidding. We made it more like like we're podcasters type deal, but like it can be a little bit of both. And I like the name Bunch of Potheads because if we wanted to have other people on with us too, it would still just be a bunch of potheads. Right. And even if they don't smoke pot, it, we'd just be podcasting Pod, people. Yeah. But. Yeah, which we've only had one guest so far, and that was our our dude uh, Miguel, uh, Whale Hell Miguel. I don't know if you ever hear us say yeah. that, but like that's where it all started oh. was with him at, at Marianne Donuts. And, Speaking of pot, I miss smoking pot. Do you? Yeah. I don't know if I ever smoked pot with you ever in all the years. We might have. We had. We to probably. Have at least yeah, once. we probably I had just to. Don't remember because we were stuck. <laughs> but we've done some other pretty bad shit together yeah. too. I was kind of a bad influence on all my friends. I think. I don't know though, because I was. Um, I kind of. Uh, I kind of cleaned up in high school, not with the drinking, but with other stuff. Yeah. And then right out of high school, I got bad again. Yeah. I was in some. Dumb shit. See, it was like age 16 to 22. I was just fucking stupid. Wild. And just fucked up all the time. Right. It's like 22, I had a bad experience with cocaine, and that set me, I was like, I need to change. Right. Like, I thought I was going to die. That bad, huh? Yeah, like, my whole body went numb. I had my head sticking out of my dude's car. Like, Freaking didn't know out. if I was going to puke or shit myself or just have a fucking heart. I didn't know what was happening. I thought I was dying. Hmm. And I just, I was like, no, I'm done. I can't do this shit anymore. I'm going to kill myself. Last time I did coke, I, I did way too much and couldn't, I was drunk and on coke. So I was trying to sleep and I literally, next thing I do, I look at the clock and it's like seven in the morning. I start getting like cold shakes and like cold sweats and I'm like, uh, I'm done. Dude, I'm done I, with this shit. Nope. My The way I described my relationship with cocaine was, uh. I had a love-hate relationship. I loved it. To I think this it's the day, best drug. I loved doing it. Yep, felt great on it. I, I hated coming down. Yep. Absolutely you always, that's why it. people always want to get more, and when it runs out, you, you're like, Well, that, that and I could be on top of the fucking world happy one second, and then just like that, for no reason at all, off. I am depressed as oh. fuck. Just all of that sunshine is now just rain and storms. I'm just done. Like while you're until, coming down, until I can kick myself out of it, only for it to happen again in like another twenty, thirty minutes or an hour or whatever. Like huh. I had to like stay out of my head, and that was another thing that I was just like, if I keep doing this too, I'm eventually gonna be so fucking like down at one point that who knows what the fuck I'll do. Right. Or it's just I don't know. There's a lot of factors involved, and like. I wasn't even like really addicted to it. I just knew I had a problem with that, with getting fucked up specifically, and that one right there was gonna be the one to make it even worse or make me go down a path I I don't think I want to go down. So I was like right on the cusp of like I, I like had to make a choice at that point. Do I want to be a junkie or do I want to just like smoke pot or something? You know what right. I mean? Like and drink. Like you know what I mean? Do I just want to be like a a chill dude that drinks and smokes, or do I want to be a fucking junkie that does all this crazy shit, gets into cars with people he doesn't know, and you have no idea where where, where you're going, where you're going tonight, and how this is all going to end up? You know what I mean? There's times I didn't get home until six in the morning, or didn't get to this dude's house till six in the morning because I was out fucking walking around all night, like with Tyler or somebody, and just all fucked up, not even knowing what I'm doing most of that time, or shit I can't even remember. Right. <laughs> what did you do? You yeah. Know? I mean, I'll get... I, I started fights with people that I have no recollection of. 
people would come up to me and be like, you just poured beard on this dude's head. What the fuck? And I was like, no, I didn't. Dude, I would have swore, I would have bet my life that that never happened. But so many people told me I did it. I mean, I'm, I was blacking out and shit. I was, I was not remembering things that were happening. I was waking up and having to apologize to people for shit that I can't even recall. Yeah. <clears throat> so. I've been there. I have. I, uh, <coughs> from 20 to about 23, I, I didn't get drunk a lot. But when I did, it was way too much. And then I was constantly fucking breaking shit or getting in fights or like the one time I drank too much Jaeger, which is mm. a fight in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm some done dude with that called the girl that I was talking to a whore just messing with me. Oh. And literally I was fucking pissed. I didn't do anything about it. And 40 minutes later, I just looked at him and just started wailing on him. Damn. Boom, boom, boom. Blood's everywhere. I broke the whole couch. Damn. Dude, it was bad. I, I should have went to jail for it. It's hard to break a couch. Dude, dude the whole fucking thing was broke. The, the holes in the wall. I was kicking them with my boots. Fucking A. This dude was fucked when you were Oh, yeah. And I feel, to this day, I still feel terrible about it. But, I mean, you were out of control. I mean, I was, that's yeah. that's the problem with, with drugs and alcohol, dude. Right. Especially the hard stuff. Like, and... Alcohol, too. Just alcohol will make that shit happen. Right. Like, if I'm drunk and you piss me off or I feel disrespected or something, it could go one of two ways. And one way you definitely don't want to have. I don't even want to happen. Right. Because then you're so me would be like, fucking bad. Yeah, so if, yeah. I, if I was sober during that, I'd be like, whatever, he's drunk. He's no, but I'm saying a sober me would look at me in that condition and be like, what the fuck? Like, wouldn't even know who that person was. Right. You know what I mean? But that's it's when you got to take a step backwards and look at it and just be like, dude, I'm all fucked up. I was sick of losing friends over it. I was like, man, that how too. many people have I just fucking just look at me now and think I'm a joke? Yeah, because I'm, I fucking say retarded shit. I call them at two o'clock in the morning, wake them up. They have to work in the morning. I'm fuck yeah. What are you doing? Well, not only that, like, but nope, not doing it anymore. Then the people you're hanging out with, you're slowly realizing really aren't your friends. No. Uh, you the really the only thing you guys have in common are the drugs you're doing together. Right. That's all. Like other than that, like you couldn't have a normal. Like if you guys were sober together, you wouldn't know what to do. It'd be awkward. But like just you, you you're, you guys have both have one thing on the mind. And it's the same thing. You're congregating around this table that's just full of the only reason you're there. Like <laughs> it's it's crazy. Like I mean, some people are like we're your friends before and we'll. Could have always been your friends if it hadn't worked out the way it was and shit. But it's, 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 it's like all the stuff that happens normally just with growing up, times like a thousand with all the with just worse yeah. When people. you throw that shit in there, yeah, I agree. But damn, yeah, I wise know. beyond his years, Mark Thomas. No, no, <laughs> definitely not. Um, I would say less than his years, even. But I think that's why. We started at such a young age that we kind of grew out of it. Like, well, we didn't go to college, and that's when most kids go, have their crazy. But, like, I would, I run into people now that I know, and they, you know, it could be at a bar or something. And I'm just like, what a fuck. Oh, sorry. No, I'm just, it's a quiet. What a fucking idiot. No. You know, and I was like, well, that was me five years ago. So that, that's the thing. It's like, I got all this shit out of my system a long time ago. Like, all the people my age now, like 30, I'm 30 now. And, People are still going out to bars and shit and like getting wasted. Yeah. And, it's like, Halloween, better get drunk. I want to stay at home and play fucking, you know, Lords of Waterdeep or Monopoly <laughs> and drink a beer too, yep. maybe smoke a little bit and, you know, put some music on. Call it a night. Yeah. Like, I want to be in control of the situation right here. I don't want to have to listen to whatever this DJ's playing or some bullshit they're playing on the jukebox or, or something. Or bumping into somebody and it's like, well, I'm getting jumped here in about five minutes. It's paying $3 a fucking beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? $4 a drink. Yeah. When I can buy, you know, two 24-packs for the price I would have fucking paid for, for like drinks. 12 Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Yep. It's like... uh. If I, if I if I got on Tinder, I'd be too honest. I don't think I'd get any play. Like I'd have to have a girl that was just like straight up, like I dig the honesty. Like this dude knows how who he is and what he. Well, I'm wants sure you're and, gonna find some girls that like. 
the same shit you do though yeah but the thing is is like there's it's got to be more than just things in common because we can have all this all these things in common but if, if she wants to like go out all the time and stuff i really don't want to one because it's just not kind of my thing anymore two it costs twice as much as it would to be able to right. just do it my way uh which is just as fun in my opinion like it's just i don't i don't understand why going out needs to happen for any of the stuff that you do going out to happen you know right. what i mean i'd rather have a, a bonfire and have some people over yep and then Hang play out. cards or play taboo or something you know yep. that's my idea of having fun only rules we got to follow are, are our own or yeah. mine or whoever's house we're right. at like it's just a good time you know you're gonna play get there's not gonna pong. be some asshole fucking yeah. with you yeah yeah i'll take you over to jerry's when we do a party one time I'm we down. have some good times over there i'm, I'm sure i'll have a, a more free time in the coming months that so. would, yeah absolutely but, i mean i'm gonna have to start working a lot more too especially if i'm gonna be doing everything on my own but i mean I won't have another person to consider. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And that's why uh, I feel bad because with this fight coming up, I've been, I haven't spent enough time with Rachel and I'm trying to juggling everything. And like, you know, I know it kind of, she's um, the most mature person. So like she understands it. Yeah. Like if she was 99% of the women, she would have booted me a long time ago. Yeah. Like I can't deal with this shit. I believe it. But, no. I, you know, so I, that's one thing, good thing about her is she, she understands how the world works a little bit better than most people. See, that's what I need. Like, you need to understand that I'm a fucking grown adult and I'm not going to just like. We're not attached to the hip. We're, we're not fucking like 20 somethings, like early 20 somethings anymore. Just going out with no response, no real responsibility right. and shit. Like, I like the, res I have more. I like life way more now than I ever did when in, when I was younger. Well, because back then you just didn't. You were looking for something. Now we kind of you either found it or you you at least know what you're looking right. for. You have a destination. Yep. Before the world was your oyster and you were kind of just figuring it figuring out. Shit out. Once you got it figured out, that's when you're just like, I don't need to fucking go spend any unnecessary money just to fucking have fun. Right. Like I could sit at home, download a free game, or watch something on Netflix and get hammered. And that's what I lo I love doing. I love watching the Cavs or the you know I don't love watching the Browns because it's heartbreaking every fucking god damn it I get so mad. When no, I, I, I that. get it. I get it. But like when the Cavs were in the finals, I literally bought I, these this four pack of these uh, Sam Adams beers, my favorite beer in the world, a four pack, and I'd get a nice buzz on, watch the game, go to bed. Yep. That was the funnest fucking shit I've done. Dude, there's no pressure, no nothing. nothing. Like you don't have to I'm not trying to entertain go everybody. Home, you know what yeah. I mean? You're already there. Like yeah. you can drink as much as you want. Like there's probably food in the fridge. Like it's all there. Yep. And it cost me ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so. that's the kind of girl a girl that wants to just fuck I'm a homebody. You know what I mean? I am too. I'm a homebody. Yeah, I like to go do things from time to time, but from time to time. Yep. When it's when the time is right and I have the money for it. Right. Other right. than that, there's no reason to doing it because it's just not going to be fun. Then I'm going to say this so everybody can hear it. When I win that LFA title, I'm taking Mark Thomas out to do something. Nice. I was actually going to say when you come back, we need to do another podcast, and I want to see that fucking belt. We're gonna. I'm going to bring the belt in. I'm going to drink a lot of those. Nice. And uh, we're going to have fun with it. No, I. I'm. Um, absolutely 100 percent up for that cool cool i'd like to uh to get back to something else we were talking about upgrades and things i'm trying to do for the future i'd like to start live streaming like drunk cast where we're actually doing something maybe we're playing a party game on the pc right. or something or you or know what i mean i bring a nintendo 64 and we play mario party that you know <laughs> what i mean we'd have to figure out a way to, to rig it up I'd, I'd obviously have to get the gear at that point to do oh, it okay. but like that's why i recommended pc yeah just because it's much i can do that now you know what i mean okay but um no, something you know what i mean even if it's not like a, a video game or something like just an easy drinking game or something we could broadcast and people could play along you yep. know what i mean or something that would be fun have the comments going yeah who knows? Maybe people will just be like, oh, look what they're doing and just show up in the middle of it and start playing with us here. <laughs> but I need more mics then, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Where are um, we at on this? We are now over an hour and six minutes at this point, but there's probably a good five, 
minutes or so where we were just dicking around or I was fixing something. You want to wrap it? We can we can do that if you'd like yeah, to, sir. It's, I would, uh, uh, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, it's so almost nine at this do. point. And it's a half hour drive home. You got a big day coming up too. So. I do. I'm not fucking up. All right. Getting nervous a little bit. I, I can understand. I have utter faith in you, though, sir. Appreciate it. Especially when I heard how old the dude was. Right. So I'm just like, wow. He's, can't right in his fucking old legs. Yeah, he's, he's, ah. You're going to retire him. That's my goal. That really yeah. is, you know. Hey, thanks for coming to play, but you're you're old. Shit, he got 25 views on his interview. Uh, I know we give a fuck about him. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. What a pussy. Well, you'll see us again with the title around that fucking waist or shoulder. Uh, heavyweight um, LFA heavyweight champion There you go uh, Of the world Is there anything Any info you want to put out Before you go uh, Yeah it starts <clears throat> 9 o'clock eastern time On Axis TV On uh, November 3rd I will be the main event Of course And uh, It's a big one So uh, You know Let's get some views on that bitch Yeah you know? Yeah I see the return of Hollywood Hughes. Hollywood Hughes. Well, Mr. Hollywood. I actually thought about if I win that belt, I might change that name back to do Hollywood it, dude. Hughes. Pull a money Mayweather. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like it. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a good fight. And, you know, the fights leading up to it are going to be good. I mean, these guys are the top of the top when it becomes, you know, right under UFC. So. Yeah. You know, it's a big fucking opportunity. So You're definitely making your way up, sir. Proud of you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Can't tell I'm repping my my Jeff Hughes shirt right Bam. now. Available at whatever.com. You'll tell them someday. Um mm, whenever I get more made. Exactly. I feel lucky. I'm one of the lucky <laughs> ones here. Um Yeah, uh, if you like what you see, obviously like, share, subscribe, uh, for more. Uh jam up t shirts but available on uh thread madarcher.threadless.com I believe it's been a while since I said that why um, don't I have one of the motherfuckers because you gotta buy them I don't actually make them <laughs> like it's through a company and in order to get them they gotta be ordered and I, I don't even have one yet so I will have one for the next uh, the next podcast but, uh, there's an orange I designed an orange one just for you yes so I knew you wanted the orange but, yes uh, yeah uh, facebook.com slash madarchermedia all podcasts available on iTunes and Stitcher now. So subscribe to that. That would help us actually. Big time. It'll it'll start. We want. I want to make my way in the top two hundred on Ooh. iTunes, which I'm sure there's millions. But you got to start it. somewhere, right? Fuck it, we'll do it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Good luck, All buddy. All right, man. Although I'm sure you don't need it. I'm I'm, I'm awaiting to see that belt. You'll see it next time I'm on this in this room so awesome all right awesome look forward to that ladies and gentlemen and until next time see ya